Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend out there. And uh, January 31st, end of the month. So tomorrow we start February. Wow, time is going to already fly by. Before we know it, it'll be December again, Christmas time. So, anyways, folks, let's uh, jump ahead here to the economic news. We got uh, personal income up, or about, actually about the same. So that was okay. Uh, up. It was at 4.4%, uh, so it, you know another month went up 0.4%, so that's good. Uh, consumer spending good. Uh, people were spending in December at 0.7%. The core PCE, also very good. Uh, basically, again, this might get, create more concern for deflation as it came in at zero, where the prior month was at 0.1%. So this is the inflation gauge that the Fed really pays close attention to this and the CPI, but especially core PCE as it takes into uh, different variations or fluctuations uh, that might create uh, inflation. So uh, definitely uh, something to watch out for. Uh, so this may raise again uh, f the Fed's concerns about uh, deflation possibly. Chicago PMI up a little bit higher than they estimated. They expected to go down to 65. It was actually around 66 and change. Uh, so they revised it to 68.6. So it was up a little bit higher the previous month. So that's also good news in the Midwest and the manufacturing side. Stock market's up. Uh, this all has been great news for the uh, stock market. Now Egypt, uh, you guys probably been seeing stuff on Egypt with the unrest going on there. It's not, this is basically all political. People are just getting, uh, are unhappy. There's nothing organized over there, but they're, right now the investors are kind of doing a Friday. They kind of did a little panic mode, and oil kind of went up a bit. They're kind of doing a watch and see. You know what Egypt is important because they do control the Suez Canal, where a lot of the oil flows to Europe and to the Western countries. And this is uh, they are they do play a vital role. You know, that's the biggest thing. Their biggest concerns. The second one, big, uh, bigger one would be. Can, would this potentially spread to other countries? Do other countries start having unrest and uh, having large protests as well? So it'll be interesting to see what uh, how, how it plays out. So that's what investors are doing. They're just kind of watching and seeing as things play out, how things play out. Eurozone uh, at 2.4%, so a little higher, went from 2.2 to 2.4. So they're a little concerned about maybe having Know, trying to jumpstart the economy but having too much inflation they don't want to obviously raise rates when they're trying to stimulate the economy and it's not doing so well so they got their, they're getting their hands full we're you know this could trickle over here we potentially with all the government spending we've been having that could be a factor in our uh, in the you know in the near future as well so let's take a look here at the bond market uh, we started the day off about six basis points lower than what we left off on Friday uh, we were up actually about six basis point, six nine basis points. Now, right now we're actually down six points, so we're down a little bit. It's gonna be real important to try and maintain this ninety nine level here. Uh, it's been a while, uh, you know. It's been, it hasn't been easy to uh, stay above this ninety nine here. So as we can see, we come close a couple times, but never really made it. And a few times we did, but it came right back down. So it'll be important for us to see how if we can uh, maintain above that. We do get some other big news coming later this week. Uh, you know, they'll have the ADP, uh, but you know, again, they're, you know, they won't be extremely important just because they usually are off. But Friday we do have the jobs numbers, and that's going to be something they're going to really be looking at. That could be a breakthrough for us either direction for going upwards or downwards. But we really need to uh, see if we can jump up above 100 here. So uh, let's uh, hope for the best for our friends here in Egypt and Tunisia. Uh, that things work out for for them over there and uh, you guys have a wonderful day